In this artificial intelligence class, we start our fifth unit robotics and now let us see the introduction to robotics. Under this class, we will study what is robotics, the applications of robotics and the different categories of robots like the manipulators, mobile robots and mobile manipulators. This is the combination of these two and humanoid robots. And after that, we will see the robot environment and the requirement of robotics. Let us see these things one by one. Robots. Robot is an artificial agent which is capable of performing actions and replicating certain human movements automatically by giving commands through programming. Okay. So, a robot is a combination of architecture plus program, artificial program, right? Robot is aimed to manipulating the objects by perceiving, picking, moving and destroying the objects. Okay, normally these type of robots are used in industries and the robots have mechanical constructions. So, through mechanical constructions we can give shape to the robot based on particular task and the robots are also have electrical components through which we can give power and control the machinery, right? And finally, the most important one is the robots are having computer programs through the program only the robot can determine what, when and how a robot do something. Okay, so uh, the robot will be controlled by using the computer program or algorithms. Robots. Robots are the physical agent that perform tasks in the physical world. Okay, so in the place of human we can replace uh, robots. The robots are having sensors. By using sensor they can perceive the environment and the robots are also having effectors. Effectors. So the effectors are used to do some actions on the environment. Okay, here the sensors are uh, the cameras and lasers which are used to measure the environment and the effectors are legs, wheels, joints and the grippers. So, these are effectors which are used to do some task on the environment. Okay. Apart from this, uh, it is also having the gyroscopes and accelerometers to measure the robot's own motion. How the robots will move from one place to another place, those will be measured by using these equipments. Applications of robotics. Nowadays, robotics is used in almost all the domains. Let us see all those things one by one. First one is industries. In industries, robots are used to for handling materials, cutting, welding, color coating, drilling, polishing and etc. Okay. And uh, next one is military. When come to military, the autonomous robots can reach inaccessible and hazardous zones during war period. Right. And when come to medicine, the robots are capable of carrying out hundreds of clinical tests simultaneously. This is most important application in medicine. It also used uh, for supporting and recovering disabled people and performing complex surgeries such as brain tumors uh, and heart surgery etc. Okay. And the next one is exploration. When come to exploration, the robot rock climbers which are used for space exploration. When come to underwater drones, it is used to, uh, to explore the uh, deep oceans. Okay. And when come to entertainment, more number of robots are used in entertainment. Nowadays, Disney engineers uh, created uh, hundreds of robots for movie making. There are four categories of robots. First one is manipulators mobile robots and mobile manipulators. Mobile manipulators are combination of manipulators and mobile robots. After that, the humanoid robots. Humanoid robots means that will uh, exactly do like the human does. The first category is uh, the manipulators. Here, the robot arms are physically attached to their workspace. Okay, an arm is, is there by using the arm, the robot will do the required task. Okay, these robots are used in factory assembly line, 
international space station hospitals and etc right and the manipulator motions usually involves in chain of controllable joints okay see in the diagram you can see uh, so many joints will be there so that it can move uh, anywhere else within the workspace right which are used to, to place the effectors in any position within their workspace and these type of manipulator robots are installed more than 1 million in worldwide the second category is mobile robots the mobile robots moved around their environment using wheels legs or similar mechanisms so this can move around the environment right and they are used to delivering foods in hospital moving containers and loading trucks and uh, similar task okay so for this purpose we can use mobile robots the special robot uh, called ugv that is unmanned ground vehicles this is unmanned ground vehicles that can move automatically on streets highways and off roads that is automatic uh, taxi driver otherwise and the another type of robot called unmanned air vehicle uavs okay unmanned air vehicles which are commonly used for surveillance um, crop spraying and military operations okay so these are mobile robots the third category is mobile manipulator which is the combination of mobility with manipulation okay hence it is called as mobile manipulator right and the another type is humanoid robots the humanoid robots mimics like human right here the early humanoid robots are shown in this uh, figure and this is manufactured by honda corporation in japan right mobile manipulators task is made very harder because the mobile manipulators uh, replace the human in difficult task means the task which are not completed by human in the place we can replace the mobiles to complete that difficult task some mobile manipulators are used in hospitals to assist surgeons robot environment normally the robot environments are observable stochastic dynamic and continuous sometimes it may be sequential and multi agent environment also and robot cameras which are used to see even in the corners and they can also understand the motion commands right by using these cameras and uh, in simulated environment it is possible to use simple algorithms simple algorithms like the q learning algorithm we have seen previously to learn very quickly but this is not possible in real time that is uh, the humans it will take some years to learn such things so robot can easily learn all those things by using the q learning algorithms the requirements of robotics when come to practical robotic system it should learn the prior knowledge about the robot that is the historical data should be stored in database and it should know about its physical environment and the task it will perform on the environment so these are the things are very important for the robot to learn quickly and perform the task safely right and uh, Uh, the robot brings together many of the artificial intelligent concepts like the probabilistic state estimation perception planning unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning so far we have seen the introduction to robot from fifth unit and in today's class we have learned what is robot and the applications of robot and the four different categories of robots that is manipulators mobile robots mobile manipulators and humanoid robots after that we have seen the robot environment and the requirement of robotics in the next class we will see another important topic from 5th unit thank you